the workers. Mm. Yes, mm. when you're selecting your workers, ensure that the worker yeah. you have, you train him or her yourself. Yes, hello guys, this is Kataps once again, you welcome Kataps Farm. And this time we have something very new, very fresh, very new. You've never seen this. Okay, the mistakes poultry farmers do on their farms. These mistakes, if you don't change your ways, your farm will never grow. Mistake number one, the location. Yes, location means a place where you're going to put your farm. Let me, an example would be, you want to put your farm in which district? Your farm in the village in the town. So, think twice, think first. Where, where am I put my farm? Where should it be located? The location matters. The farm should be in a place where there are customers, near the transport means, the farm should be accessible, the farm shouldn't be having issues of thieves, what people are so bad, so the farm should be located in the right place. Another mistake the farmers do in this world, the workers. Yes, when you're selecting your workers, ensure that the worker you have, you train him or her yourself. In the farms, poultry farms especially, we don't encourage people to look for, for workers who have worked. We don't actually want experience at all. For us, the workers in the farm, we want somebody to train him from zero up to the end, 100%. Because these workers, sometimes they have already, they have their own ways of doing things. They say for us, in the farm, we don't do this, we don't do this. Maybe for us, we don't disinfect. For us, we touch the hands like this, we touch the birds like this. No. Teach them what you want. If you disinfect on Monday, Tell them it is Monday. If you disinfect in the morning, tell them it is in the morning. If you vaccinate on weekends, these are weekends, give them your ways. Number three, planning. If you don't plan well your farm, you're finished. What do I mean? Before you bring in the hens, but the birds, first thing, how many birds am I to bring? How, how much will they eat? And how much will it cost me to construct for them? You don't need, don't need to gamble around it. Eh? Start something wholeheartedly and you're done. Because if you start and you have no reason and planning, you're going to be messed up. You can imagine having birds, like maybe 1,000 birds, and you can only afford to feed 200 birds. What will happen to the rest? You either sell them so early, or they don't grow, they lay so late, you end up being messed up. The mistake farmers do usually there is no time for their farm. If you can't give 70% of your time to your farm, why are you starting it? Don't start what you can't manage. Please, if you cannot give your six to five days a week to your farm, you're finished. You have to, even if you step there only, the workers won't see you there. They won't see that you've been there. They won't see that they want, they want to expect you on the farm. Yes, even the birds themselves, the owner's vision matters. If you enter your birds and you check around, it is you who knows, you had the vision. So give the farm your time. Don't underestimate the time, never overestimate your time. Yes, another challenge you have or another mistake we do as farmers, we do not at any other time use our skills or the right skills or the right expertise to monitor our farm. What do I mean? Never, never, never use your eyes to check your birds. How do I mean here? Yes, if you're having chicks, I'm sure you measure their growth threat. If you have a wing scale, that's only when you can do it. But if you don't have wing scale, what will you do? Using your eyes is wrong. Because you get a chick, you look at it, you look at these chicks are okay. No, a wing scale was made that it is good and it is okay and it's gonna help you so much to measure your chicks. If hens are in there, if they are sick, you don't use your eyes. Take them for testing. If you can't take them for testing, get a veterinary officer, get a vet, let the veterinary person help you out. Otherwise, you're going to be messed up. The farm needs expertise and right technicality, right items, right equipment, and right everything. Don't overestimate, don't underestimate anything on the farm. Alright, another big and big 
big mistake farmers do is poor housing. You can imagine having a structure that is really, that, that has all the mosquitoes, the snakes, the rain. The, the structure has no aeration. The structure has no floor. The structure has dust. You can imagine having all that. So, the biggest mistake, poor housing. Please, start with what you can. Start small. Build a structure. What are small? Let it be at the standard. I have put a video that shows how to construct a simple structure for starter farmers. Please, go and check on it. Another mistake farmers do, poor feeding. Please, please, try to avoid this issue of saying feed is expensive, feed is what. You have to give the right formula for your birds. Yes, well, videos we have given you, videos on how to make feeds, how to cut costs. At least learn how to cut costs, but not cutting the quality. If you underfeed your birds, rest, be rest assured that they will not lay for their eggs. Because let us give an example. If you get chicks and you give them layers mash, will they grow? No. It's like getting a child, a baby of day old, and you give the child porridge. Would the child grow? Yes, you have to understand that these chicks are day old, they cannot have the digestion system which is strong, so they need that protein content that is digestible. That's why we give them pre starter. Please never underfeed your birds. If you ever do that, don't say I never told you. Because your farm will never grow. Another mistake before I leave this ground, another mistake, another one, the final one, it is a getting loans going to the bank and bringing out all the money hoping to get the money from your birds <laughs> you know it is better you start small you grow and grow and grow please i don't say loans are bad but please start with what you have don't borrow everything to start a farm a farm is 100 percent risk and 100 percent profitable please if you heed my advice I know our farms will grow and this channel will grow. If it is your first time to be on this channel, please subscribe. If it is your first time to be on this channel, like, hit the bell. And if you have been watching our videos, just share the videos as you want. Share, comment, like, and then the channel is growing. See you next time. My name is Gataps and we're going to be giving you videos every week, every week, every week. Don't get tired. Bye. See you. Love you all.